off the line Always in the north side Chilling with my other guys You know what it's like What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another video. In today's video, we will be reacting to Onesie Entertainment Scary Stories, and the scary story is called True Scariest Double Ganger Story Animated. You know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. I'm 21 years old now. This happened to my uncle when I was around nine years old. Okay. My uncle was living in our house and was staying at our vacant guest room up on the second floor. He's my dad's cousin, so he was really close to our Yo, family. Dan's cousin. My uncle was a morning person. He would always get up at around 4 a.m., drink coffee, and run morning errands around the house. He also told us that he could see and feel ghosts because he has a third eye. Nah, nah, he just high or drunk and crazy. And to give you a little background on our house, it was the very first house that was built on our street. We could sometimes feel something moving around our house, especially at night, but we never really paid attention to it. Bro, see, that's 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 the first problem. Why act like? Ain't nothing going on when you clearly hear something going on. Man, no, let's just keep watching. The morning, my video. uncle woke up at his usual time, around 4 a.m. He left his room, which was right beside the staircase, saw my older sister, who was 17 years old at that time, going up the stairs with a cup of coffee in her hand. The weird thing was, he said that my sister was looking down and not showing her face the whole time. He greeted her with, Good morning, and why are you up so early? He said my sister just kept walking up while looking down and ignoring him. I would have said, um, good morning. <laughs> why are you up so early? I would have, yeah, she would have noticed me. Real talk. My uncle felt awkward as my sister just walked past him. He ignored it, thinking my sister was in a really bad mood. He thought she probably so stayed up late studying or something. My uncle went down to grab a cup of coffee when he saw my mother in the living room, ironing some clothes. My uncle was confused about why my mother was up at 4 a.m. and ironing clothes. He tried to talk to her and asked the same thing he asked my sister. Why are you up so early? He noticed that my mother was wearing the same clothes from the night before she went to bed, so he knew it was her. To his surprise, my mother ignored him. I see what they're doing. They're trying to scare him so he can move out. They're getting tired of him being there. <laughs> That's what's going on. My mother never ignored anyone, which is why he found it strange. My mother was just looking down as she kept ironing. That's when my uncle knew something was off. He yeah, knew so something off. was she very wrong the same here. clothes from yesterday. He rushed back upstairs to his room, locked the door, turned off the lights, and tried to go back to sleep. He tried to forget about it and woke up again a few hours later. It was around 10 a.m. in the morning when he talked to my mother and my sister about what happened. <laughs> they said they were asleep the whole night and they don't recall waking up at 4 a.m. My uncle said, no, nah, bro, y'all stop playing with me. Uncle was so shocked about what he had just experienced. Someone was copying my mother and sister nah. earlier that morning. I was so scared at that time. I became so paranoid that I might feel or see something odd in our house, but I tried not to think about it too much. The night after that situation, my uncle woke up at around 3 a.m. He felt something at the end of his bed, and he saw a oh. woman with long hair Shit. sitting there. My uncle froze for a while. He didn't know oh. what to do. He was trembling when he said, Go away! My no. uncle hid under his blankets. After a few minutes, which felt like hours, he looked at the same spot where he saw the woman. That's all I need. And she was... Bruh, I would have got up, left the bags, left the clothes, got my keys, and dipped. I wouldn't have said bye or none of that. I would have just walked out the door. Not walked, ran out the door. Got in the car 
and dip, bro. Like, no. It's gone. My uncle slept with the lights on that night. After that experience, he thankfully didn't you experience any. Toe hanging from the window, bro. Come on now. And he acting nonchalant, like, like it don't even phase him, bro. Anything like it ever again. That one enough to you move. You need a logo. Why not make it today? That one enough to move out the house. Hey, man. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, man. Mohi coming soon, and we out.